Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name is Chris and this is UDM Pro Complete Setup Part 12 where we're going to be talking about Unify Protect users and roles or in other words how to create multiple users for Unify Protect that will allow your users to view only specific cameras or view slash administer only specific cameras. But first, if you are enjoying this series, make sure you give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions so that you don't miss a single video. We try to put out two to three tech videos every single week. And if you're just interested in buying me a beer, there is a link down below to do that as well. Okay, so here we are at the dashboard of Unify Protect. And what we want to do first is set up some roles. So if we come over here to this key that says roles in the left hand menu and click on it, we can add custom roles. And what does that mean exactly? Well, let's go ahead and do it. We're going to click add role. And so let's say that we wanted to create a role that allowed a manager to view only the cameras that are located on the second floor of a building. So I'm going to call this second floor cameras. And then we'll say that my second floor cameras are the G3 Flex, we're going to put a view only role, as well as the G4 Pro. We'll just choose those two cameras. And then we're going to click add role. So now we have a second floor camera role that allows us to view two of our devices. The next thing we want to do is create users that only have access to this particular role. So to do that, we actually need to do that in Unify OS. So you don't create users in Unify Protect, you create your users in Unify OS because with something like the UDM Pro, you might have users that have permissions to view cameras, but you also need to give those same users permission to use like Unify Access, right, to get in and out of secure doors. In that case, it's the same user, right, that you're giving different permissions to the different Unify applications to. Okay, so we're going to click the nine dots in the upper right hand corner and we're going to go to users. Now from here we're going to say add user and we have a number of options for our users. So the first thing here is limited admin, super admin, or just member. Right, so for the purposes of giving someone the ability to just view some cameras, we want to give them limited admin capability. For the account type, we have ubiquity account or local access only. This is going to vary based on your organization's needs. Local only means that you can only log in by going to the IP address of the UDM Pro. Whereas Ubiquity account means that you can go to unify.ui.com, sign in with your Ubiquity single sign-in account, and then get access to the UDM Pro through the cloud or through Ubiquity's cloud interface. For the purposes of this video, we're just going to create a local user and not have to worry about the single sign-on stuff. So once I've clicked limited admin and local access only, I get some extra fields here. I can change the picture for this user if I want. I can do first name, we'll say Joe Smith, first name, last name. Uh, local username, we'll just say J Smith. And then let's give it a local password. And you can optionally enter in an employee ID, an onboarding date, et cetera, et cetera. And then if we scroll down here, we have our various application permissions. So let's say that this is a user that I just want them to be able to view the second floor cameras, not administer them, just view them. So for Unify Network, I don't need to give them any sort of permissions whatsoever. So we're going to say none. For Unify Access, we're going to say none. For Unify Talk, we're going to say none. So then if we drop down Unify Protect, we can see second floor cameras. That's the role that I created earlier in this video. So we're going to select that role, but notice that view only is still selected. View only would allow this user to view all of the cameras. So let's go ahead and delete the view only role so that the only access they have is second floor cameras and they have no access to any of the other applications in Unify Protect. All right, go ahead and click add and we've now added that user. All right, the last thing that we need to do is test this out and make sure this is working for Joe Smith. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by the good folks over at NextGenT. If you're looking to enhance your skills or start a career as a network engineer or cybersecurity specialist, 
look no further than NextGenT. NextGenT is an online IT school offering real-world training on the latest technologies that's designed to launch your IT career in months rather than years. NextGenT also offers an ISA or income sharing agreement, meaning that you don't have to pay up front for their training program. You pay back tuition for the school only when you're making over $40,000 per year in your new IT career and NextGenT's career services team will mentor and work with you to help you land your dream job. Demand for network engineers and especially cybersecurity specialists is at an all-time high, so there's no better time to get started with your IT career. I, for one, would have loved a program like this when I was just starting out, so make sure you click the link in the description of this video for more information about NextGenT's next level IT training programs. All right, now back to the video. All right, thank you so much for that. Let's go ahead and log out as administrators. So we're gonna click on the upper right-hand corner. We're gonna say sign out. And now we wanna sign in as Joe Smith. So the username I gave Joe Smith was J Smith, and the password that I gave him. And then we're gonna click sign in. Now notice right off the bat, we see something very different. We see that the only icon that Joe Smith has the ability to see is Unify Protect. I can't click on anything else up here in the bar other than I can sign out. That's it. So let's go ahead and go into Unify Protect and look down here. In the timeline, the detection timeline, we only have two cameras available. It even changes the storage utilization, which is actually a little bit incorrect, isn't it? Because it says one 1080p camera and one 4K camera is taking up 100% of the space, but we know that's not right because there's four total cameras in this system. So if I click on Unified Devices, here we can see the G3 Flex and the G3 Pro. If I click on those, I can open up the view and actually view those cameras live, but I can't really change anything. You do not have permissions. Contact an administrator to gain access, right? So all I can do is see information about the camera and click on the live view. If I click on live view from the left hand menu, the default view, so this is my external cameras view that I had set up, only shows two cameras, right? It does not show the other two cameras even though I added all four cameras to this external cameras view that I created in the last video. Same thing with detections. This is only gonna show us stuff from the G4 Pro or the G3 Flex. If I click on time-lapse, I only have the option to time-lapse those two cameras. If I click on settings, I can enable alerts for these cameras. Uh, and we're gonna cover alerts in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you have not already subscribed. But if I am Joe Smith and I wanna set up alerts for myself for these cameras, uh, I can do that right here. But again, I only have access to these specific cameras that have been assigned to my user, which was assigned to that second floor cameras role that we created. Okay, so there you have it, a way that you can lock down which cameras your users can view. This is really, really helpful for situations where you have someone who needs to view the cameras, but you don't need to give them access to all of the cameras in your entire organization. Maybe you only want to give them cameras uh, to access to cameras in their own building on a multi-building campus or something like that. That is how you do this in Unify Protect. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name's Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and we will see you in the next video.